mother of two Susan Ray, 66, spent 30 years on BBC Radio 4, before she had to leave due to her deteriorating condition. Her son Rory Cargill, from her previous marriage to retired Scottish newsreader Neil Cargill, revealed to this week's Radio Times, time and again the GPs told us it was stress-induced brain fog. It took more than a full year of misdiagnoses, confusion and a long-delayed PET scan to receive a diagnosis, early onset Alzheimer's disease. He added, Mum has handled her diagnosis with dignity, humor and curiosity. But we have suffered enormously as a family over this. Coronation Street actor bids final farewell to ITV soap actor character meets dramatic in the anguish of this cruel illness is just one factor in the stress it brings, as the state help we presumed would be there, simply isn't. Rory shared that after being unable to work, they found that Susan was ineligible for any financial support or benefits. Despite being in the public eye, Mum has never been financially privileged. As a family we do, however, acknowledge the privilege that she has a platform that others don't. As a result, the brothers launched a Just Giving page, where their goal of £30,000 was reached in less than a day. They have since updated the page, stating, We're blown away by all of your support, donations and kind messages. To have reached the initial target within less than 24 hours is testament to how many lives our mum has touched from every corner of her life. I've spoken to my mum and she feels so lucky to have so many friends, and wants to thank you for providing her beer and fag money. Don't miss! Our Yorkshire Farms Amanda Owen reunites with ex Clive for photo, latest. James Martin insists horrendous food product should be banned, reaction, Mia Farrow's unkind Harry and Meghan post sparks backlash, reaction, her wit hasn't gone anywhere. He also spoke out on others suffering from Alzheimer's or dementia, stating, around 1 million people in the UK are known to have some form of dementia and that number is growing. This is not a rare disease, what are those without a platform supposed to do if they get it? Rory went on to tell Radio Times how his mother hadn't always had fans, her work wasn't always received with admiration. She kept a shoebox on a living room shelf at our old house. It was full of hate mail, which became a point of pride and humor for her, about her accent infuriatingly bringing an end to the Cole Mondley Warner sound likes that had previously monopolized broadcasting. Earlier this month, the mother of two also reached out on BBC Radio 4 to share her thanks. Susan revealed she was overwhelmed by the support people had shown her and that it was the most extraordinary moment since her diagnosis. Read the full interview in this week's Radio Times, out now. Melting